Hello friends, I am Professor Vidyadar Shivsakar. Today we are going to start with lecture number 10 for unit introduction to numerical control system. So uh, from last lecture as we have seen the different preparatory functions, these are the different preparatory functions. We are going to be understand all preparatory functions one by one. So the first preparatory function given in this particular table is G00 that is the rapid traverse. Then G01, this is the linear interpolation. G02 circular interpolation clockwise, G03 circular interpolation counterclockwise, G04 dwell, G05 hold and delay, G17 xy plane designation, G18 zx plane designation, G19 yz plane designation, G33 thread cutting, G40 cutter compensation cancel, G41 cutter compensation left, G42 cutter compensation right, G63 thread cutting cycle, G70 dimensioning in inches unit, then G71 dimensioning in metric unit, G80 can cycle cancel, then G81 to G89 can different type of can cycles, G90 absolute dimensioning, G91 incremental dimensioning, G92 zero preset, G94 feed rate mm per minute, G95 feed rate mm per revolution. Okay. So first of all here we are going to be understand what is the G00 rapid traverse. If the tool at a random position in a machine, we need to call the tool at the machining point then the non-machining operation of the tool from the random position to the machining point that when we call the tool, we call the tool with the help of G00 code that G00 code interpretation is rapid traverse. Now, the linear interpolation, linear interpolation in which a tool need to move from one point to another point by machining operation, right, in a single straight line that we call it as a linear interpolation, right, with machining operation that is linear interpolation. Then the circular interpolation G02 and G03, G02 circular interpolation clockwise, G03 circular interpolation anti-clockwise. When you want to prepare a circular slot or circular machining operation, you have to do the machining operation in circular interpolation from one point to another point in circular path. So when you going to the circular motion, circular machining operation that is G02 in clockwise direction, G03 for anti-clockwise direction. Then the XY plane designation, if you want to prepare a machining operation if you want to do machining operation on xy plane then you need to give the xy plane designation then if we want to carry out the machining operation at zx plane then the zx plane designation need to be give with the g18 code then yz plane designation given by the g19 code then the thread cutting carried out for a single cycle that is g33 can be given over here the thread cutting compensation if the thread comp cutting compensation cancel where g40 is given and the compensation will to be carried out as according to the dimension of the tool as you can see on the diagram when the compensation is cancelled the tool diameter tool the radius compensation automatically get cancelled if you want to give the compensation in left then g41 where the inward moment of tool compensation for the radius and diameter of the tool is carried out then the compensation for g42 in right direction need to take the tool from outside machining operation and the compensation it take according to the cutter radius and diameter here the absolute dimensioning G90 code is used for the absolute dimensioning every time the machining operation carried out for each point on the particular job is taken the reference of the origin. Then the incremental dimensioning system G91 where the machining operation carried out at each point then the reference should have to be taken initially from the origin but for when the next operation that next operation need to be taken the reference of the previous operation point that is 
incremental dimensioning system. There are some miscellaneous functions. These miscellaneous functions like M02 for the program stop, M03 for the spindle start clockwise direction, M04 spindle start for counterclockwise direction, M05 for the spindle stop, M06 for the tool change, M08 for the coolant on, M09 for coolant off. Then M30 is for the program stop and tape rewind. Now this is some simple type of program is given over here for the linear interpolation. Here you need to be prepared a one single slot from uh, point 0.1 to point 0.3 as you can see the diagram on your screen. So we need to be place the tool at the origin first as the origin point given over here. From origin we need to move the tool from origin to point 0.1 and from point 0.1 to point 0.2 and point 0.2 to point 0.3. But the non-machining operation need to perform from origin to point 0.1. But the machining linear interpolation operation need to perform from point 0.1 to point 0.2 and point 0.2 to point 0.3. So some condition is given in this particular program preparation. The starting point is origin and the tool is 20 mm above the job surface. That is a condition. Then machining to be done from 1 to 3 point. Then the Z we consider as the surface of the work is 0. Then depth of the groove. We need to prepare the groove from 1 to 2, 2 to 3. This depth of the groove is 3 mm. So, start to be write down the program so first instruction block as we have seen the format of the instruction block we need to be write down sequence coding n1 then the g90 is for the absolute dimensioning system g71 for the metric mode right g94 for the feed rate mm per minute then m03 for the spindle start but at what speed capital s 800 eob then next instruction block need to be move the tool from a random position to the origin and from origin to the machining point. So we need to move the point tool from origin to machining point so for instruction block number 2 G00 non machining operation the coordinate of point 1 that is X 10.00 Y 30.00 end of the block then we need to move the tool for taking a feed so we need to be taking the feed right and that instruction block number 3 where need to be kept the tool at 2 mm above the workpiece g 0 z 2.00 eop then in next instruction block need to take the feed and for g01 here we need to be take the feed at downward direction but that is downward direction is z negative minus 0 0.00 with feed rate f 200 eob then in next instruction block g01 machining operation continuously from point 1 to point 2 where point 2 the y coordinate is same hence y coordinate is not written over here but the x coordinate is going to be changed so x coordinate need to mention right down over here 30.00 eob then the instruction block number 6 where the machining operation is carried out from the point 2 to point 3. Point 3 x coordinate and y coordinate also getting changed. So x coordinate is 50.00, y coordinate 45.00 EOB. Then the instruction block number 7 where need to move the tool out of the job in such a way that the job need to be moved out of the workpiece holder. So g00 z 20.00 eob then g00 x minus 10.0 y 0.0 eob now need to be stop the program with the command m02 eob so here the simple type of linear interpolation program get executed likewise so thank you very much for today's lecture